welcome to another Mr. Beats Bike video, and this one's a little bit different insofar as we're looking at a Lenovo uh, Idea Pad Z500. Uh, this is type 5931. Um, it's an i3, um, sorry, it's an i5 third generation processor uh, with 4 gig of RAM. Uh, it's got one terabyte hard drive, uh, 5400 RPM, um, Samsung. And uh, optical drive, of course, and it would have come with Windows 8 as well. Um, so I think it's just the the, the home version, not the pro version. Um, so a fairly usable machine. Uh, it's got GeForce graphics as well, the GT65 um, mobile. And uh, in this video, we're going to swap out the hard drive for an SSD and. Um, what I'm going to do is, as we take it apart, I'm going to put up um, in the, the top corner, one of the top corners, um, footage of it booting up from the hard drive, a fresh installed of Windows uh, 10. Um, and I'm going to see if I can take this apart or how far I can get um, taking this apart, putting the, hard, the new SSD in and then putting it back together. Um, relative to it booting up and uh yeah and then we'll right at the end we'll do a boot up with the ssd in and uh, to see how it goes now what i do with these boot up tests is i don't just boot it up and oh it's got to a desktop what i do is i boot it up and then i have to open a web page and actually the web page has to be displayed and that's when effectively i stop so it's it's when the machine becomes usable now, I will say when I did the boot up test, it was still booting when I got to the BBC website. Um, so it, it really will give a good indication of how long it takes. So um, I'm slightly up against it because uh, obviously <laughs> it, it wasn't fully booted when I stopped it. <laughs> so um, a couple of things. First of all, how I actually imaged it over. I'd already installed um, Windows 10. Uh, on this and um, obviously found it woefully slow so I said to the owner um, SSD would make a huge difference do you want to go for that yes so rather than put an SSD in and reinstall it I actually imaged it over um, mainly because of the drivers the drivers are a little bit of a pain it's not terrible but a bit of a pain so it's quicker just to image it over and it takes sort of 10 minutes um, but to do that, you need to press the magic button, which is on the left side by the power. Um, so you just press that, and the machine will boot, will start, and you get presented with this menu, and you've got the uh, BIOS setup as well, if you want to go in there and have a look. Um, but you've got the boot menu. And uh, I used a Cronus um, to uh, clone the drive internally and then plug the SSD in. Uh, it's got USB 3. So I plugged in a drive adapter for the SSD, turned it over, and then um, we'll swap the drive over. So that's, that's the way I did it. I, this is actually I, the second one I've got as well. So I've, I've done one before. So hence why I know what I'm doing a bit more. <laughs> so with that, let's crack on. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna talk through how I'm doing this as I take it apart. It's a little bit unconventional how this does come apart, uh, which is why it's quite good to document in a video. Um, so let's start the boot up now and let's get start getting this apart. Oh, let's actually use the... It's a good start, isn't it? So, three fairly thin screws. And I'm putting these, the screws are actually off, off camera, but I do put them in order. So, um, yeah, I work back um, sort of in rows with the screws. For each level, so underneath will be in one row, 
and the top will be in another. Now, these have interesting feet. The feet actually are captive. They're not glued. They just press onto little tabs. Um, and there is a screw under each. Actually, I'll just close that back down. Back ones as well, they come off in a slightly different direction. But they're they're pretty they're pretty robust to be fair. And it's it's quite a nice idea. I quite like it. Um so many things like Chromebooks, especially today, they um they use sticky and of course once once you've pulled them off they, the sticky isn't quite so effective when you put them back on then they fall off. Um, right, so that's that. Now we've got two screws here. These two screws release the keyboard, and the keyboard indeed has to come out to get the bottom off. So, that's one, you can see there, long screw. Now we're doing time-wise. Um, what I tend to do now is, if I can get a screwdriver in there, can I get a screwdriver in there? No. Um, what I'd usually do is put something very thin and long up in there, and it pushes up the keyboard enough to, to pry it. But um, we're up against it. Um, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. And use a plectrum. And I seem to remember here is not a bad place to start actually. Um, you could use a screwdriver blade. But of course, you do risk breaking or damaging the plastic against the. This is metal. It's actually a, a good quality laptop. Um, and then taking the keyboard off. You don't necessarily have to take the keyboard off. Um, they just lift up tabs, lift up backwards, and out they come. Then. These are all the same, these screws. Um, and you do have to take the optical drive out. So the optical drive under the sticker, there's a screw. I'm not too worried about being too uh, careful. The same screw as all, they're all the same screws. So that's great. This will now slide out, hopefully. I don't know why I was doing that because this is actually <laughs> part of the top assembly. Um, yeah, you're just putting the drive out from here. Then we have got three screws here. Screw out the tops has dropped. That's good. And then it's a case of Trying off, let's just get that screw in. 
fine off this. And this will come off fairly easily. Sounds horrible, but it's really not that bad. So that's it. Bottom is off. So hard drive is here. Um, RAM up here got two slots, so you, I think you can put this up to eight, absolutely fine. Um, eight gig. So there's four screws. One. Um, this screw here is actually a short screw, and then the rest are longer. Oh no, they're all short. I think. Yeah, so they're all the short screw. Um, I'm sure the other one actually didn't. It only had one short screw and three longer ones. But anyway, that does the trick. <laughs> Yours might be different. Drive slips off. And then, got the drive. Screws themselves. Um, I'm sure the machine has booted up by now. On this fine one terabyte hard drive. So, like I say, this has been pre. image Oops. screwdriver has a little bit of a magnetic effect which is rather handy so um putting the drive in this caddy if you do get confused um that's the back so you can see the that little box section there's at the back there's the front um and uh sort of the open part of the tray the open part of the connectors so yeah that should do the trick and then put this back in and put this back together I have to say, it's, I mean, this would have been a fairly premium machine in its time, but, you know, it's a pretty decent uh, bit of kit, really. Um, when I first took a look at it, I thought, oh no, this is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be one of those machines where they try to be really clever, make it all nice and smooth lines. And, um, no, actually... It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm putting this all back together um, without testing the SSD. Uh, I know it imaged correctly and successfully, um, but if for any reason something did mess up, it's just a reverse um, of how I did it before. So obviously the, the source drive becomes the external drive connects to the USB boot of Cronus um, and uh, yeah just do it do it the other way oh yeah don't put those in yet 
because they, they hold the keyboard. Um, so let's do the top. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be putting it together, it's booted. I must have pressed the power button. <laughs> well, there you go, that works. So let's just uh, shut this down. <laughs> oh dear, oops. <laughs> uh, I don't edit things out as a rule. Um, only edit out sort of things where my hands are in the way, so it's <laughs> it's quite... It's quite cool that it's done that and just shows everybody makes mistakes and everybody has those those moments where it's just like, oh, <laughs> it's just booted up while I'm putting it back together. Um, yeah, you want to avoid that. Of course, it's a captive battery. Um, you can't take the battery out, so it's not like you can really sort of stop it from doing that if, if there's any charge at all in the battery. Um, so this screw here. And the keyboard. Put it way around. And I know you can't probably see that, but there are lines on each um, each ribbon. It hasn't gone in very well. So you just need to make sure the lines are right up to the edge. Um, interesting sort of how twisted this is, but that's the way it, way it is. And it uh, seems, seems to work and it's done nearly 10 years. <laughs> Gosh, shocking. Interestingly, Lenovo are just now um, saying that this is nearing the end of support, uh, which is quite interesting. So, 10 years. So, now we can put these two screws in. These are the long screws. And these screws that we kept captive. I do like being able to do that. This means you're absolutely sure that you're putting the right screws back in because they never left. <laughs> there we go. Oh, guess what I forgot? I forgot to put the optical drive in. So we need to take that back off. Because of course it's got the screw. And that's, that's a slight annoyance with this. If you have to change the optical drive, it's actually quite involved to do that. Um, because the screw is under the keyboard. I'm a bit annoyed I did that, to be fair. Oops. So let's put that final screw in, which we've now lost. I put the screw in without <laughs> without putting the optical drive in. There we go. 
Of course, I'll edit that out so you won't know that. Won't know I did that. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. It's because of that metal cover. It sort of looks like the drive's already in when you sort of just, yeah, doing a YouTube video. <laughs> you sort of forget. Okay. So and then we've got these three small screws at the front. Super, so that's done. Except for those two keyboard screws. Super. Okay, so all back together. Let's power it on, see how long it takes. And what we'll do is we'll also we'll do the same test. We'll go to the um, internet. Well, and of course, I haven't started this previously, so it will be a tiny bit slow because it won't actually have the proper driver set up. Uh, let's see. And, uh, uh, there we go. That is so much quicker. That's just great. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe. We'll do a few more IT bits as well. And, um, yeah, but lots of retro stuff on the channel. So, take a look at that. It'd be really great if you uh, join the journey. And with that, bye for now.